सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एंड कूल बबल क्लोज सिमुलेशन एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल एनिमेशन राइट गाइस रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो नाउ गाइस आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन सो स्टॉप एंड गाइस आई शो यू माय रेंडर प्रीव्यू सो गो टू ऑन कैमरा एंड रेंडर एंड रेंडर इमेज चेक क्या See guys, that's my really beautiful render, and guys, bubble effect. So close, and now, guys, I create new project, new project check, and select all, and press delete key. So first of all, guys, I'm going to take a plane, and plane size increase, scale size, I like fifteen. See guys, that's my scale size fifteen, and next one, guys, go to our edit mode. So I increase segment. So right click, self divide it. So subdividing number I like hundred, hundred check yes right and guys now go to on here and I create vertex group this one so guys click on here plus icon check and grouping and assign check yeah that's it guys so next one object mode object mode and guys next one I take this time empty object so go to on here empty and use spherical this one sphere check. And increase radius. Radius I like like a three is good. Yeah, good, right? Okay, so guys, select your plane, and I apply subdivision surface. Subdivision surface check, and viewport level I like one and render one. And next one, this time guys I use vertex grade proximity. This one last and check. So guys, see that's my vertex group. I like group. That's my segments. Target object. That's my empty. Yes, right. So guys, now go to on here. Last option. Check. And see guys, that's my mask texture. Check new. And click on here. So guys, now apply cubic texture. So I create simple texture. So open Photoshop and create new. So guys, custom here. Custom size. So use one zero eight zero height same one zero eight zero and create check. Yeah, see guys, that's my background. And guys, firstly I apply black color. So Alt Delete. Yeah, and create new. That's my new layer. So guys, I take this time rectangle tool. So guys, create shape like this. Right, create shape like this and apply white material. White texture like this, right? And guys, now duplicate. So Control J. So apply on here like this. So guys, move, select both shape and copy. So Control J and go to on here. Yeah, like this, right? And guys, select all and press Control T. So guys, create smaller. Like this, and little bit more, yeah. Enter, yes. See guys, that's my simple pattern. And copy, and go to on here like this. So little bit up, and guys more copy, and guys create shape like this. Yeah, it's good. Little bit up, yes. See guys, that's my simple shape, right? It's good. That's my pattern. And guys, now delete your background. Delete because I create transparent PNG effect and use simple white texture, right? And save your project. So go to and save as and use this time PNG sequence PNG and guys save and press OK. Yeah, and go to on here Blender and guys apply same clip, same image. See guys, that's my different different pattern. So apply this one and open, yeah. But guys, see that's not visible. So go to on here, weight paint check. Yes, see guys, that's my simple shape. And guys, now you can change mapping. So go to on here and repeat check. And repeat, I like three and three. Okay. So guys, more change like this. Yeah. See guys, that's my different different shape. So guys, go to smaller, like a two and two. Two and two is good, right? See, it's good. 
and guys now all is good so guys next one i apply animation this one animation so object mode and guys go to on here select this one that's my empty object so change position position x location i like 16 and y minus 16 enter and guys select your plane here and see guys that's my proximity mode i like geometry and i create this one lowest and highest animation so guys lowest check and highest check and guys now go to a last like a 250 frame and lowest i like 47 and highest i like 48 and check right so guys now again go to on wait paint check and play okay see guys that's my animation pattern animation right okay so guys stop and now guys select your key and press t liner and check again go to on back and play yeah right it's looking really good see guys that's my pattern pattern animation vertex paint okay so guys stop and go to on object mode and guys this time i apply cloth tag so guys go to on here guys select your plane and i apply cloth and go to on here guys see firstly vertex was i like seven and check so guys stiffness increase like a 25 all 25 and blend i like click a 20 yeah and dumping increase like a 20 all 20 and blending i like two yes so guys go to on here pressure pressure check and pressure i like 50 enter yeah so go to on shape see guys that's my pin group i like group and string factor guys that's more important part string factor i like minus 0 0.4 and guys collision check guys that's my quality i like 5 and 5 check so guys self collision check so lastly guys go to on field weight and gravity i like 0 yes that's it guys so now guys go to on here and guys i also apply this time subdivision surface for more smoothness close simulation and i like this time subdivision surface and level i like one and one yes good see guys that's my firstly subdivision surface and second one guys that's my vertex bit and third one cloth and lastly subdivision surface check so again go to on cloth tag and go to on catch a and bake all check yes see guys that's my baking just take a little bit time okay so guys my baking is finished and next one guys play yeah so closer yes see guys that's my really cool bubble effect right so stop and right click shade smoother and guys again play yes good see guys that's my really cool bubbly effect right okay so guys now you can apply any material so guys i like cloth material so use blender kit add-on so guys click on here and type like a fabric enter see guys that's my fabric material so select your plane and apply this material i like this one right and close so guys click on here yeah okay so guys now it's not correct guys texture not correct so change scale size so go to one scaling shading and see guys that's my scale so scale size i like 0 0.2 and up x1 0 0.2 0 0.2 yes so go to one layout yes see guys that's my final work and one more time play and closer yeah great okay so guys my work is really good right that's my work and next one guys i change render setting so simple render guys go to on here cycle render 
divide chip you check sam i like 256 and go to on here that's my environment texture light so guys you can apply any hdr image depending your work like this and strength like a 1.5 enter yes so guys play and guys now i show you my only one frame render so stop yeah see guys that's my really cool bubbly effect i really like this if animation and guys now go to on here so frame rate i like 30 fps and go to on output and create new folder enter and take any file name except check and take camera and guys set your camera angle like this yeah okay so now guys i show you my one frame render so render and render image check see guys that's my final render right it's looking really beautiful okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you